Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, grumpy old fart here. I'm doing a movie review of the movie Six Pack. This is a comedy, drama, a sport movie. It's about racing uh, from 1982. The plot is that an old race car driver trying to make a comeback runs across, across a group of six orphans who turn out to be incredible mechanics. <coughs> Excuse me. They also happen to be accomplished thieves. He reluctantly takes them on as his pit crew, become a, becoming a, a sort of a father figure, and along the way, he figures out that there's more to life than just racing. This is a feel-good, family-oriented movie that is just fun for the whole family. I remember seeing this back uh, when I was in high school, and it was terrific. This is one of those movies that stands the test of time. If they, if they could remake this movie today, and it would still be a timeless classic. The problem with a remake would be finding a cast to replace the one here. I mean, Kenny Rogers would be hard enough to replace, but where would you find six kids to fit the bill with talent and ability comparable to these kids? These days, Gen Z actors only become big because they have a huge media following propping them up. Back then, young actors, especially kids, had to actually perform. They had to have talent. They had to earn their accolades. And a group of six that can sing? <laughs> Good luck. The cast of this movie is really, really good. It's got Kenny Rogers, Aaron Gray, Barry Corbin, Terry Kaiser, Bob Hanna, Buddy Baker, Diane Lane, Anthony Michael Hall, Tom Abernathy, Robbie Fleming, Robbie Still, uh, Benji Wilhite, W-I-L-H-O-I-T-E, Wilhite, I guess. I hope I'm saying his name right. Everybody deserves to have their name said right. Um, I probably murdered it. I'm sorry. I <laughs> butchered that name. At any rate, they're all good actors. There's none that are bad. Whenever I do these, I try to do uh, standouts. Now, people forget that Kenny Rogers is such a great singer. That You forget that he's a great actor as well. He's such a great singer. He plays Brewster Baker, the star. The, the, the main... The race car driver. Um... There's a girl named Erin Gray. She's a great actress. She plays Lila. She plays Brewster's love interest. She takes to the kids actually faster than 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 he does. Um, and I, the when, whenever you're going to cast a movie like this and you're going to make a love interest in the movie, you have to find two actors with chemistry. And, and for my part, these two had great, great chemistry. And it's hard to cast that in a show. Um, Kenny Rogers and Aaron Gray together in this movie, they, they really shine. They really do. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Kenny Rogers did a series of, of movies called The, uh, the Gambler. And they were, they were pretty good. He had a lot of cameo stars and stuff in there. Aaron Gray played... Wilma Deering off of the old Buck Rogers in the 25th Century TV series. And she did it well. Uh, she's a great actress, beautiful woman. But together, these two really did well. I was, I was impressed. And their chemistry with the kids is phenomenal. These kids together, Diane Lane plays the eldest of the bunch. She's kind of the, kind of the matron figure. But the rest of them are her brothers, and at least in the movie. And you got great stars in here. Anthony Michael Hall, Tom Abernathy. I mean, they're all good. Everybody in this is good. But uh, Anthony Michael Hall went on to, to star in a bunch of other stuff as well, but this is while he was still a little kid. Diane Lane, she's she's just a, an, an icon. 
when you when you watch if, if you get a chance watch this show and when you do look watch the kids these kids act better than most people most actual actors do today these kids are really really good they should have gone far and did a bunch more but you know it is what it is if you get a chance the movie is six pack from 1982 Go and check it out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. It's a feel-good family movie. It's good for the whole family. Go check it out. Ha! You won't be disappointed. Y'all have a good day now. God bless one and all. Clarissa Lowe, a historian from the future. Delmore Kane, a Civil War veteran turned outlaw. This oddball pairing faces a conspiracy of epic proportions spanning the centuries. If you like action and adventure westerns, with a splash of science fiction and fantasy, check out my book series Drifters and their ongoing adventures.